In today's wrap-up, Armenia eases lockdown restrictions despite a significant rise in cases. An arrest warrant for chairman of UCOM's board of directors, Gurgen Khachatryan, has been issued. And after a series of incidents in Gavar, the police chief of Gerardkunik region has been sacked. Armenia has started to ease lockdown restrictions despite a rising number of coronavirus cases. Citizens will no longer need to present police with ID and a paper showing their times of entry and exit from their residence, reason for going out and other information. Many businesses have also been given the green light to reopen, including the manufacturing sector, beauticians, kiosks, hairdressers, shops and eateries. Although eateries will only be allowed to open outdoor seating areas. Some restrictions will however remain in place, like the halting of public transport and the closure of malls and markets. In a live stream meeting between Prime Minister Nikol Pashinyan, Health Minister Arsen Torosyan and Deputy Prime Minister Tigran Avinyan, the PM stated that it is economically infeasible to continue the lockdown for as long as the virus exists in Armenia. Avinyan added, however, that if the situation gets worse, then stricter restrictions will be put in place. Despite the easing of restrictions, there has been a significant rise in new cases in the last few days. 121 new cases have been confirmed, thus the total number of cases has risen above 2,000 500. 36 more recoveries were reported and 4 more deaths. The health ministry also reported that 320 health workers have been infected with the virus since the start of the epidemic. In addition, Health Minister Arsen Torosyan did not rule out that the number of cases can soar to 10,000 by the end of May if the outbreak worsens. An arrest warrant for chairman of UCOM's board of directors, Gurgen Khachatryan, has been issued. UCOM is one of Armenia's mobile operators and Armenia's largest internet provider. Gurgen Khachatryan is the head of the company's director's board and son of former finance minister and head of the state revenue committee, Gagi Khachatryan, who was arrested in 2019 due to charges of abuse of power, embezzlement of large amounts, as well as organizing the embezzlement of other people's property on a large scale using his official position. He has been under arrest Gurgen Khachatryan's whereabouts are currently unknown, and as of yet, his physical arrest has not been made. Furthermore, since late March, the family's assets in UCOM and other companies have been put under arrest by the government. Gurgen Khachatryan has made claims that the government is trying to pressure his family to sell off their majoritarian shares in UCOM, but has stated that he has no intention to do so. The National Security Service is also looking into a case of a large bribe of over $22 million, and with regards to the investigation of this case, has referred to the Khachatryan family and Sedrak Arustamyan, the CEO of Multigroup, a company owned by oligarch and opposition parliament member Gagik Tsarukyan. Last week in the town of Gavar by Lake Sevan, a shooting took place at the local university, killing two and leaving six injured. Relatives and friends of the dead proceeded to gather outside the medical centre where the injured were being treated. Later, they broke through police barricades and broke into the medical center. The mob were reportedly carrying metal rods and damaged much of the interior and exterior of the medical center. Moreover, the investigative committee revealed that three patients were stabbed in the hospital. They have been transported to Yerevan for treatment. Moreover, the committee announced that 15 people have been arrested. The regional governor, Ganel Ganosyan, announced that police reinforcements have arrived to reassert public order. The handling of this incident has raised significant issues about policing in Armenia. Meanwhile, the police chief of Armenia, Arman Sarkisyan, has sacked the police chief of the region of Gerarkunik, where the incidents took place, for his handling of the situation. Many commentators and analysts have seen the violent clashes in Gavar as a reflection of the police force's institutional failings. For instance, in an interview with Sevonet, Armen Krikorian, the head of Armenia's National Security Council, argued that the incident highlighted the urgent need to reform the country's police force. And finally, Civilnet has published two pieces, one written by Patrick Azadian and the other by Narek Seferian, debating the announcement that Yerevan will soon construct a statue of Indian independence leader Mahatma Gandhi. Azadian argued that the fact that the Indian government is fronting the bill is problematic, as this may set precedence for any government to pay for a statue of their leader in Armenia. He also brought up controversies surrounding Gandhi, like his racism towards black Africans and his turning of a blind eye to the Armenian genocide, whilst condemning the treatment of Turkey at the end of World War I. Meanwhile, Seferian, who recognized many of Azadian's points, argued that the statue should be welcomed. He argues that Gandhi's commitment and usage of non-violence has had a profound effect and were strategies used in the 2018 Armenian Velvet Revolution. He added that Gandhi's statues have appeared across the world. Why not in Armenia? And concluded by highlighting the strategic and political importance of Armenia's warm relations with India.